what I'll do here, I'll turn this off so that you can see the fish. So these high density polyethylene tanks will hold about 2,500 fish. Uh, when I turn on, all of this water is gravity flow. There's no pumps, no, no fossil fuels, no moving parts. Just flowing water. When I have it all the way on, it'll replace the volume about two and a half times in 24 hours. I'm really just irrigating my taro fields. But with the fish, I feed them once, once a day and their feces becomes the fertilizer for the taro. So I'm really fertigating the taro. And as, as you can see, the water flows in here. That's an outer standpipe that has an inner standpipe that I can control the water level. And the water flows through holes in the outer standpipe at the bottom, rises between the two pipes, then falls down the shorter inner pipe and goes straight out into the taro. If a fish goes kukai in here, goes to the bathroom, in, in practice, in seconds or minutes, that is in the taro field. And the taro will uptake those nutrients and keep me, keep this from polluting the stream. Intensive aquaculture is a major polluter uh, of water body if they're not integrated like this. This is an integrated system. Aquaculture with agriculture. It's basically modeled after the traditional Hawaiian uh, uh, local Iakalo, uh, which was the taro field with, or the fish pond with taro. I've just separated the fish because it's easier to harvest them this way. And again, this thing will last my lifetime and my daughter's lifetime and my grandson's lifetime and on and on. So, you know, the water basically flows from here and flows right out to the taro. One of the things we do under the taro is we put in a zola, the little, the little floating uh, aquatic fern. You can see it right here. It does several things. It feeds the water birds because the alai ula like to eat the azola. It keeps the water cold and it, uh, it also returns nitrogen. Periodically I turn off the flow and let the water go down so the taro uh, gets um, aerated and it also, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It uh, makes a lot of the nutrients available to the plant and it will kill some of the azola and it'll return that nitrogen to the soil. Right now the air we're breathing is about 78% nitrogen. Nitrogen is really abundant, but plants like it. How do you get it from the air to the plant? With azola. It's a nitrogen fixing fern. This is azola right here. You can net it out. Fish love it. It's a little nitrogen fixing fern. Uh, in Southeast Asia, the whole ag extension a service revolves around growing this. There's people growing different kinds of green manure crops. Well, this is the easiest thing in the world to grow. I don't have to till, I don't rototill, I don't rototill these fields. When, I, when we harvest this taro, this isn't ready to harvest yet. When we harvest this taro, we'll leave it wet fallow and then we'll, we'll, um, we'll put in a little bit of phosphorus just to get the azola maybe this thick on top and then we'll let it set for a week or two and then we'll turn it off and, and just let it all die and return that to the soil. Then we'll plant and flood it again and away we go.